Welcome to ByteShift. Today we are going to understand how can we embed routing logic into our React Native application. The component that we are going to use to create the routing is going to be React Navigation. So the React Navigation version 5.x has three basic type of navigators that comes out of the box. One is Stack Navigator, one is drawer navigator and one is tab navigator. So first we are going to understand what is a stack navigator. So suppose there are deck of cards and we have three cards one laying in top of each other. So if we add one more card we are just pushing one screen on top of it. If we want to go back we are just popping out the top card and it's going to take us to the previous screen. That's how the stack navigator would work. And the terminology that I've used, push, pop, and replace. Replace is like we replace the top card with some other card. So that is also relevant for stack navigator. The drawer navigator is quite uh, a very common navigator because you can navigate to any screen by swiping right from your screen and you have a menu on the left or some apps even have a menu when you drag from the right so that's how the drawer navigator would work and we have also a tab navigator which is like having different tabs and you tap on each tab and it renders a view inside it so the stack navigator has three methods which we are going to cover. One is push, one is pop and one is replace. So without much ado, let's see the documentation of React Navigation. So if you see the React Navigation getting started guide, we have React Navigation native, which is a dependency we need to add. So we can copy it, and install it. We also need to install the bare react native pro into a bare react native project because most of you would be doing hands-on practice with uh, a bare react native project because that is like the way forward for most of the applications and it gives you granular level of control so that you can uh, play around without any boilerplate so that's it and we just need to add it add these uh, npm packages also because these do something uh, something like the safe area view it takes care of it without our intervention and it adapts to it uh, like the project of react navigation is very active and it's uh, getting a lot of contributions and as and it's a fast moving target so uh, we have mobile screens getting in different resolutions and sizes and we have a notch, we have a bu uh, bubble notch, we have a droplet notch, we have a different kind of notches. One, some planes, some screens are also old, like having a rectangular screen. So it has to support every screen. So this team is going uh, to do that for you. All you need to do is uh, go back, go to the latest uh, React Navigation. So at the time of this recording, 5.x is the latest one and we just need to install it and we have to understand one logic here for the stack navigator that we in the first we are going to do a stack navigator followed by a drawer navigator and then a tab navigator so for the stack navigator we have an object called stack which has two properties called screen and navigator screen is the name of the route and navigator is uh, screen and the navigator so screen has two properties called name so one is name and one is component so the name is uh, the route name and the component is the component which should render when you go to this route so this is it this is the basic concept and we wrap this entire stack object inside a navigation con container which comes out of react navigation slash native library so that's it. 
and we just need to first install one by one so I'm just going to copy this and paste it here inside the project that I've created followed by uh, these uh, npm packages and don't forget to add uh, the react native gesture handler uh, import into the entry of your application whether it is index.js or app.js so once it installs I'll add some other packages to it and since we are going to first try out the stack navigator so let's copy the stack navigator installation and also add it once this ends so since we have some time let me explain you the project that we are going to do so we are going to uh, have three screens and we are going to navigate from screen A to screen B to screen C and have some real life scenarios like when we need to push, when we need to pop and when we need to replace. So all of these scenarios are getting covered and this is it. This is the installation that we need and to the next video we'll understand the routing strategy that we are going to use and how we are going to use the stack navigator so thank you and see you in the next video thank you